I told you I belong to the purpose, uh, to the primary purpose group. That's not just our name, that's our job description. That's what we exist for. We're not the Tuesday night Roseville group that meets on Tuesday night in Roseville. We, <laughs> I, could, I spoke at the anniversary, I committed that group on the creativity involved in naming that group. I asked him when they met, he said, Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs> so, get them, boys. Get them. <laughs> yeah. I belong to the primary purpose group. <laughs> if you don't, if, if you want to see what that means, visit us. Uh, we're in the business of action. We believe that action's a magic word, and we put that sucker in motion. Uh, we do. Uh, we do service. I mean, as a way of life, and uh, and we have a great time doing it. So it's got a purpose. We, we're not just there to take care of me. We're there to be of useful purpose. And my, my own belief is that a healthy group, you can determine it by the level of activity outside the meeting. And it's, it's one thing to have good meetings, and that's important. But this whole deal is about getting out of that shell and getting into some real interaction with this world. And so I think very important in a group is to have service that goes outside the wall, carrying this thing out into the community with all of the traditional service kind of things that we do. Significantly connected to AA. You know, that, you know, we have a GSR in our group. We know who he is. We've got an alternate. We know who that is. We have, we're part of a district. We serve well. We use the we we don't use the sixty thirty ten plan, but we give away our money once a quarter. We go broke by design. Every quarter we cut down to our immediate reserve. We give out twenty five percent to the intergroup, twenty five percent district, twenty five to area, twenty five to uh, to uh, our general service work, and and so we go broke. And and so that to me is a kind of a healthy thing. And this month or next month, we we do gratitude month, and we ask everybody to give. Uh, it wants to, to give a dollar a year for in just expression of gratitude. Since it's Gratitude Month, to express gratitude. So I always put on a little little histrionics there and you tell them I'm going to give them a tear-stained check and, you know, all this stuff, you know. <laughs> but, but it just is just another thing, just good fun. Participating in the big picture, quality of meetings. Now, I, I belong to a, to, a, to a sound AA group. It's not the best group in the world. You know, I, I don't even believe there's such a thing as the best group in the world. It's either a good, effective tool or it isn't. And so I belong to a good group I, 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 where all the legacies are in place and where there is really a program of action. Let me tell you how that came into being. I just got tired of the revolving door, you know, just folks in and out of it. Hey, God knows it. It's just heartbreaking. And, and, and it looked to me like we had more people going out than coming in. And so I got concerned about that, and I started looking for things to do. What can I do to, to understand and be effective? And so I started taking a look at why people fail. And part of it may well be that we didn't give them an adequate, in, an adequate introduction. I don't think it's enough to just demonize the person and say, well, they weren't ready or they weren't sincere. We start, I started looking about that, and I, 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 I kind of got in touch with some folks that were doing stuff, taking people through the book. You march them through in 14 weeks and all that. I'd done that kind of shock treatment. And, and it, some of it worked. You know, anything will work for somebody and nothing will work for everybody. One guy was telling me something. May said, I said, tell me about how that worked. And, and now I'm a visual person. He, he, he said, told me, I said, Let, well, I said, show me. Let's just do one right now. So we just grabbed some people in a hall at a hotel, at a conference. Sat down right in the middle of the hall. They're not fancy digs. But we sat down and, and, and opened up a book and, and said, and the whole thrust of it was to identify and relate with what's in the book, make what's in that story of recovery. But I mean, my God, that's not rocket science. You're going through the book and personalize it and make it ownership. So we put a bunch together. I didn't know who was coming. And uh, I tell you about the first meeting. And, well, we're going to take folks through. Had no idea how long it would take. It would take as long as it took. But we're going through everything, and the whole purpose of it was make folks, get, let folks own what's happening. And so I had no clue who was coming. The first night, a gal walked in there that I knew very well and didn't like, really. I mean, she, she was just a real arrogant, intellectual, atheist, and proud of it. Just, God knows, I, a brilliant girl. 
And man, she was, I said, oh boy, here we go, debating society for the next year. And, but he came rum out. And uh, so we started out, she started out that way. And so we started going, it's an amazing thing. If I had the luxury of time and could do big book work, taking people through step one-on-one, I wouldn't do it. I would opt for the group because the group adds another dimension of power. And, and that chemistry in the group was vitally important. But she's the one that convinced me of that. Because when she came in, it's funny how people will bunch up. You know, they'll, they'll sort of find the ones they feel comfortable with. Uh, so she sat down between two other aggravated cases. And, uh, <laughs> and so I'm watching them all, and you could see it kind of warming up a little bit. And I thought, oh boy, isn't this something? So now I was deliberate in this, it wasn't spontaneous. But when we came to the part on the third step prayer, third step prayer, I knew that this was going to be a little hurdle for that girl. So I was very gentle with her. I, I said, I said, tonight we're not going to close with the Our Father. I made it so we stopped at the third step prayer. I said, what we're going to do tonight is do the third step prayer. And I, so I give you three options. One, you can join hands, kneel and do it with us. Or you can hold our hands while we do it. Or you can step back and watch us. <laughs> She, I won't tell you what she said, but she said, she said under her breath, she said, ugly, ugly stuff. Well, anyway, just, you could fill in the blanks. Uh, you can't make it any worse than she made it. And, but the amazing thing happened. Now, she didn't have a burning bush experience, but she just absolutely melted, melted, got right in the spirit of it. And that, that lady today, she became my backup. If I had to be gone, she backed me up. She was my number one go-to person. Right today, she is without doubt the warmest, finest, most genuine, sincere woman in our whole area. And, and, and I have no hesitation to take any female I get on my hands and say, hey, I need some help right here. And, and isn't that wonderful? But you know, what that convinced me was uh, that there are things you can do. And that, that's a that was a powerful kind of a tool. The, the, the way we, what it was doing when, as I started to do those workshops, we started to build out a sort of a cadre of people who had gone through that experience. And there was no group that was an adequate vehicle for the energy. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, they would get through with that and they were pumped. They were ready to go and no real race car to drive. You know, so they'd get back in their group and they'd feel kind of out of whack. And so they started bugging me about, let's start a group. I thought, oh, man, I can't start a group. I was the founder of the group I was in. I said, I can't do that. It's like the captain jumping the ship. I said, Where are you going? Then it dawned on my, that group had found its niche. It was doing very, very well. Still is. And uh, so I said, all right, guys, if you really want to start a group, count me in. If you just want to start a meeting, count me out. And so if you want to go at it that way. And so what we set up, oh, right here, yeah. I'll leave, I'll leave with them. If anybody just wants to take a look at this. You can see the same thing in the, one of our third legacy manuals got the thing. I wouldn't even think about it when we did this. But what we did, we had ten people who wanted to meet. So we met not as a group, but just as a people that met and want to talk about a group. Met in the back of a guy's business. Now, I believe in action. Uh, I believe in brainstorming. You know, just like I said, that that my first thought, if I don't play with it too much, is usually the best I ever get. And if I take it back and think it over, all I do is screw it up. Yeah, so I like brainstorming. So we met. We, we each threw in 20 bucks just to seed money. We did a, a brainstorming session. I chaired the meeting, and I, and I said, think about one quality or component that you would insist on having in a group, something you just got to have. And now, like anything, that brainstorming, you've got to prime the pump a little. You know, it, don't just, it doesn't just jump out of the starting block. So I said, all right, I'll throw one in. I threw in structure, surprisingly. Threw that in. And the, the rule of brainstorming is if you say it, you put it on the wall. You don't discuss it or explain it. Put it on the wall. Move on. In 12 minutes, in 12 minutes, we came up with 19 Things we now call them goals. Yeah, that's not a great term, but it's what we call them. Nineteen things, and I added a twentieth one. We will not forget Rule 62. I 
put that in just for keep it light. And, uh, and we don't. We have a good time. We're serious as a heart attack, but we have a ball. And, and so what we came up with were these things that we, we just sort of put into this form. It's called gold. And this is what we want our group to be. You know, this is what these components, what we want it to be. Structure, focus, we'll stay on track, conference-approved literature at the meeting. Newcomers will be given sound information. Uh, anyway, right, and I'll leave these with the president. And <laughs> well, you told me he told me his title, and uh, so so what we wound up with. <laughs> don't leave us, Don. Don't leave us, buddy. We need you, buddy. Uh, this is the structure of our group, and so what we wound up when we got through with it, we named ten different things, and we and we decided to do committees to make these goals come come apart. And what we named was. Uh, a chair, natural chair, an in-group rep, a CFC, a correctional facilities, a personal PI, a treatment facilities, GSR, a CPC, program committee, we, literature, grapevine, a newsletter. We started printing a newsletter day one, secretary and treasurer. When we got through, I don't know if that's changed now or not, but we had ten committees. And some, somebody said, where are we going to get people for ten committees, I said, problem solved. Ten of us, ten of them, everybody take one. The committees are full. All you do now is add members. <laughs> and so we were off and running and immediately active. Nobody had to think about what to do. Strange thing about this deal, that uh, we, we launched it. and we were, we were nine years old in June, and uh, we've never had a bad meeting. We've had some that were trying hard to be bad. But, but when you've got a well-structured group that's, that's resilient and knows how to deal with somebody who, who screws up something, it's no big deal. You just move in and, and take care of business. That's, that's a group. I'll tell you one thing that happened with the – you know, it's an amazing thing. We never sent out a single announcement. The first night we were – when the first night we met, we, we filled a room that we had at, at a church. The next week we had to move. Uh, didn't he have permission? We moved anyway. Yeah, we figured we could whoop a bunch of Baptists. So we just moved. <laughs> now we're back to own the whole butt bottom of the church. <laughs> you know, it's easy. You know, if you try to form a group to see what happens, probably nothing's going to happen much. But if you get a bunch of things that you want to generate in a group, my God, man, your success is already spelled out. Then the function of the group is to make those things happen. And, and I tell you, we've had a great time. And we're not the group of the year. We're just a, we're just a, a good, sound AA group. Not everybody's going to like that kind of thing. Some of them want to go down to those little old meetings and jump in and jump out. That's fine. I wish them well. We ain't going to do that. You know, a, a group is a fun. And by the way, if you've ever labored through a group inventory, that's the handiest tool in the world. All we have to do is say, well, how are we doing on that? And, man, our group inventory, we can get done in two hours. All we have to do is check out how you're doing. That's what you said you want to do. You're doing it or not. Yeah. So, anyway, there's just a whole bunch there. I appreciate the spirit. I think it's a, it's a good, good sign that you're here. And I really appreciate your attention. Even more, I would really appreciate it if you'll take to heart some of what I'm talking about. Because this wasn't just podium chatter. Those are real, live viable concerns. And if you're going to be at this trough, I hope you put something in it. And so take it to heart and, and, and give some thought to that thing. Put that brilliant alcoholic mind to work, man. You don't tell you what it'll do. Thanks. <laughs>